In this video, we're going to control an auto our process drive via the DTM functionality. We're going to do Modbus TCP IP from the M340 uh, NOC module as configured here. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to the uh, SoMove software, connect to the process drive, go to the parameters list. If we go to the um, Modbus Ethernet generic settings, we obviously have to give it a fixed address. Uh, right now, 192.168.0.16. And I uh, want to go to the motor profiles or the uh, parameters being passed back and forth over the I.O. scanning from the card. And we change this a little bit from the default. For the control, we're going to have the command register. And we changed it from the default LFRD, which is basically the uh, reference frequency and RPMs, to the reference frequency in Hertz, which is the LFR. So that's all we need going out to the drive. On the input side, we changed it from being the regular ETA. Uh, we added a couple items here. We can fill this list up as we see fit. For example, if we come to here, and if we right click, and if we modify, there's a whole list of parameters that we can actually get out of the drive and add to the list that would automatically be given to the PLC. So if you do add something, you've got to click on the green checkbox here uh, for it to be synchronized in the drive and go from there. The next thing we need to do on the drive setup is we need to configure it for being controlled via the network. So if we go to the parameter layout tab in SoMove, we can go to the command and reference, and we see there's two parts that need to be set up here. Reference for the speed reference in the command. And the other thing that we needed to do is we needed to change it from combined channel mode to I.O. mode. I.O. mode gives it a simple network command structure via the network. So put it in I.O. mode, and then we come to the reference selection, and we now have a channel 1 and a channel 2. If we follow the chart here, we're simply setting frequency reference 1 up as analog input 1. And frequency reference 2 is the embedded Ethernet port on the process drive. And if you follow the flow charting here, the, uh, what's actually changing between channel 1 and channel 2 is this command RFC, which we made digital input 3 on the drive itself. So the digital input 3 changes between fre frequency reference 1 and 2. The, and then when we scroll down here, we can go to the command selection. And there's a similar chart here where we switch between terminal block control and Ethernet control in this switch block here. And we made that as digital input 3 as well. So when we hit digital input 3, channel 1 will be controlled via the terminal block using AI1 for the speed reference. And if we digital input 3 goes off, we'll be controlling both the speed and the command over the Ethernet for the drive. So now that we've saved that in the drive, we go to Unity Pro, and we'll configure the DTM for this. Uh, the first thing we got to do is add the NOC card, and we add the NOC card. We had to come in here and give it some area of memory. In my case, just for demo purposes, I had the area where the memory is going to be starting at uh, memory word 100, and I just gave it a size of 50 bytes here. And in the outputs, we're starting them at 200 and giving 50 uh, bytes here as well. So that's the setup for the card. And then if we come in here and do view, actually uh, tools, and go to DTM browser, this window here pops up. And you can actually see that the not card is configured, but there's nothing underneath it. So what I'm going to do is right click, and I'm going to add a unit. And when that pops up, what we're going to be looking is add a DTM. In our case, it's the process drive, so we choose the ATV6XX here. Add the DTM. I'm going to choose Modbus Ethernet. We're going to leave it at the default name here. And for the protocol information, we're going to leave it as Modbus Ethernet. We'll say OK. And we can see over here in the DTM browser that it actually added the device. So rather than double clicking on the drive, I'm going to double click on the NOC card. And right now, the NOC card. Uh, has an address under TCP IP we gave it as address 12. You can see that here is 012. And then if I come down here to my first device under my device list, it will be the process drive we just added. Here's the variable name of variable type is in the structure name here. 
and I'm going to give it an address setting. In my case, I want the drive to be at 192.168.0.16, and I'll say apply. And now that that's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here, and right now my PL, my PC is connected to the NOT card, and I can actually, I'm on the same sub net network, so I want to make sure that I can connect to the drive. So I come up to the channel properties. I make sure the source IP is on the proper network that I'm looking out outside my uh, card here. And I can come over to my drive. And I'm going to say right click on the drive and I want to load data from the device. What that's going to do is it's going to take the uh, network information that I just uh, configured for my words in and my words out and make it a structure to easily control. So now that hopefully will be reading from the drive. Very good. So now if I double click on the drive, it actually opens up an instance of SoMove inside of Unity Pro. The only thing that I'm really going to be using here is the parameters list. And I want to make sure that my Modbus Ethernet is set here as well. And I see that it is set for the 192.168.0.16. And I can see that uh, the parameters are the parameters that I made it. So that's good. So I'll just say OK. I'll close out of this and this. And I'm going to come here to build my project. Down in the bottom here, I see that I have built it and there's no errors. And I'm going to connect Ethernet to my PLC. So I'm going to do PLC connect. And I can now see that I'm connected, but it's different. So I'm going to transfer the project to run after I download it. Waiting a little bit here. Say OK for the project. Now I'm online with the project. And what I'm going to do here is what I notice is it actually added uh, the not card DDT and the drive DDT. So I'm going to go to the screen, go to my variables. I'm going to select all these. I'm going to right click and make an animation table. So now when I click here and look at the health bits, I can see that I'm connected properly for the health bits in on the NOC. On the control bits, I'm not controlling anything right now, so that's fine. I'm going to go to the ATV61, and I can see that it actually added as a structure these variables exactly the way I looked at it. And I can see that if I come here and I look at this in binary, make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to toggle limit switch 3 or digital input 3 on and off. You can see bit 9 turning on and off, showing that it's going between drive and network control. It's part of the ETA, and if I come in here and give it a uh, speed reference, whoops. that should be 50 hertz, and all they have to do is simply come in here and give it a run command, and you can see that the drive starts running, and the drive is now running at 50 hertz. I want to stop it. And I go to zero. The drive now stops. 
very good. If I want to put it in terminal mode, and I'll put it in terminal mode, and I start it remotely with logic input one, you can see that it's speeding up and it's following analog input one as shown. Inside of my logic, I actually came here and I put a structured text section here. And I made it actually a help section. And what you can see here is here's some of the parameters that you would actually do for the drive itself. So in order to make this process drive to work, we had to change the um, to IO profile. And that kind of summarizes the help. So if somebody needed to add a second drive, all the information was here. Frequency reference one and two um, were, were changed as shown. And you had to do the reference switching digital input three. I needed to change the reference channel switching as well as the command channel switching. And then I had to come here and change what I wanted to see my input scanner parameters and my output scanner parameters. Thank you.